same type of conversation, but let's talk about like rifles. Got the guys are getting into it. What rifles are out there that that entry <clears throat> level, but still is going to keep you in the running in a competition? Yeah. There's a lot of really great rifles. Man, right it's now. it all goes back to if you put the best guys in an out of the box thousand dollar rifle, man, they're they're going to still shoot pretty. Damn they're good. still going to be yeah. up there, you know. Yeah, there's different there's different features that come down to to preference. I prefer a two stage trigger. Uh, you can't well there's there are not very many factory options that you can get uh, with a two stage trigger. Uh, but you know if you're if you're thinking of spending you know around two thousand dollars on your on just your rig on just the the gun without a scope, um, you can go a custom and build. You know, it's going to shoot just incredible. Um, you can get all these different feature sets, like, you know, a shorter bolt throw, you know, a smoother uh, bolt. That's great. But for, like, somebody that's getting in, they don't have to spend that kind of money. And you can spend something around 1000 bucks. Like, I think probably the best options right now are maybe the, the Bergara HMR. Um, going. Yeah, they, they have that in 6.5 Creed, and I think they now just started <clears throat> shipping it in 6 millimeter Creed more. No, you're out uh, of the box, right? I mean, right out of the box. Yeah. And it's gonna be it's gonna be great. It has adjustable cheek piece. Um, previously, I used to suggest to to a ton of people is the Tika CTR. Um, Tikas are just phenomenal bases to begin with, and just love the the bolt the short bolt throw on those. And the factory trigger is pretty dang pretty dang good. Um, you just couldn't get those with an adjustable cheeks. So you'd have to build that up manually, with, you know, pads or, or whatever. So that was the negative there. You could get a Ruger uh, RPR, which maybe isn't as fine-tuned of a machine as, like, say, a Tika is, but now it comes with all the, the feature sets of, you know, adjustable cheek piece, adjustable length of pole, um, you know, all the modular part for the for the rail and swappable trigger. Yeah, you got to realize that, you know, if you're buying one of those rifles around that $1,000 mark, that rifle's going to outshoot you for years. And a lot of guys will get caught up, and this is kind of that gear race I was talking about where, well, you know, guys will start with an RPR or something like that. People give it a bad name, but man, that, or make fun of it or whatever. I mean, that rifle can outshoot almost anybody, you know. And at that point, it's almost preference. You're, you're paying more for preference. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm the biggest fan of the Tikas, um, custom builds off Tikas. I mean, you can get those under two grand, um, you know, with the, depending on what type of chassis or stock you want to do. Um, and, and depending on your gunsmith, you can be right on that 2K mark. Um, the, the only other thing that I found that I liked better than my Tika was the Curtis actions that I run now um, for a custom build. But, yeah, I mean, for the, around that $1,000 mark, all those ones that Austin was saying are, are good rifles. And like I said, that rifle is not going to be your limiting factor for quite a while. Like you're going to be able to shoot that for a few years unless you're just shooting every single day. But and, and you'll find things that you'll like and dislike about any of any of those options, and you 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 will end up getting your you know your Curtis build or your Tika build or whatever. Um, but uh, to be able to you know spend a thousand bucks on a on a rifle and get that much bang for your buck is pretty awesome. Yeah. But then you shoot for a while and you go, ah, well, it's only a thousand dollars more I can build this custom, and then I can get the exact stock or chassis that I want and the exact barrel contour I want and and all and they're like yeah I'll sell this one and get another one and then and then that's where you start seeing the difference where you you know you're paying uh quite a bit more for for a little bit you know a little bit less performance where you know if a gun's not comfortable you know it's going to be tough to shoot it shoot it well and you know it's always going to be in the back of your mind I can't get my cheek right on here I always got to do this kind of weird tilt thing to get on it right and if you can't adjust it uh it makes it pretty difficult so i i i like man if you can start around that 2k mark man you can shoot that rifle for indefinitely 